Hello and welcome to this week's question and answer video series brought to you by the weekly advertiser at Meriton Financial Groups where you have the opportunity to have your financial questions answered. My name is Rob Gowdy and I'm a financial advisor with Meriton Financial Group in Horsham. Today's question looks at credit card debt. So the question is, I'm struggling with credit card debt and I've noticed a lot of TV ads suggesting that you can consolidate all your old cards into a new card with an initial low interest rate. Is this a good idea? Well, thanks for the question. Well, it's a good idea to reduce the interest rate you're paying on your debt. However, unless you can change your habits and spend less and begin to pay for your cards, you're really only deferring the problem for another time. In fact, there's every chance that unless you start saving more than you spend, you're going to increase the debt you've got because you've only you know, really given yourself another credit card with a new credit limit and increased spending capabilities. The Reserve Bank of Australia figures on credit card show debt from about February of 2012 shows that there's about 50 billion owed on credit cards. This is one of the highest levels of consumer debt in the world. Now you may have noticed the letters that we receive from the bank asking you to increase your credit limits. They do this because, as we know, that the interest rates on credit cards can be up to 30% per annum. So the banks make an absolute fortune out of credit card debts. So the most important thing to remember is to commence paying off the debt, and this goes for any type of debt, as fast as you can. If you consolidate your cards, make sure you cut up and cancel the old cards. If you don't get on top of your credit card debts, then you might need to consider if you use credit cards ever again. As an alternative, you can use an FPOS card, so you're only spending your own money, and once the cash is gone, you've got, you, know, you can't spend any more. Or you could even just use cash. And when you're using cash, you might find you'll get better deals when shopping uh, in, in retail stores. And this is because the retailer won't be charged with the associated costs with credit card purchases. Thanks for sending in the question and I hope it helps. And thank you for taking the time to listen. If you have your own question you would like answered, please go to our website and submit, submit your question there. If you've found this video helpful, your friends may too. So please go to the uh, share icon at the top right hand side of the uh, the page and you can send it via Facebook or email or tweet. And please remember that this information is general information only and we recommend that you speak with a financial advisor to get advice tailored to your needs. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.